AMT's 1932 Chrysler Roadster tonight on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So tonight we're going to look at a very luxurious car from the 1930s. This is the 1932 Chrysler Roadster by AMT Ertl. Originally, I do believe, an MPC kit in the Gangbusters series from the 1970s. You can look that up on Google. <laughs> now let's go down and open up the lid on this and see what they have carried on in this edition. Here we have the 1932 Chrysler Roadster, the 2004 Toy Fair Exclusive Edition. Now this kit has a good history. It was part of the Gangbusters series back in, I believe, the 70s, early 80s. No, maybe even mid-70s. So, as we look at this kit, we're going to find a few of the pieces from that old Gangbusters set in here. Here's a nice set of decals. These are the pinstripes that go around all the little vents and things on the side of the hood. And here's our instructions for the car. Now this again I had bought at H&D Distributing back in August 15th, 2004. This is like one of the first kits I got when I opened my hobby shop for myself <laughs> back in 2004. There's the engine going together. This one carries on that tradition of AMT MPC kits with the steering wheels. I do believe this car was originally an MPC kit. And there's your engine. Big, huge Chrysler 8. Straight 8. And our radiator. This one, like the 30 Packard, has the stone shields that you can add in there. And our tires and spare, multi-piece spare tires, includes chrome rings. And you also get the operational rumble seat in here, and little side door. And as we turn this over, you'll see that you can put the hood in the opened or closed position by breaking the center beam out, bending over the edge. And there's the car going together. This one also has the steerable wheels with the gear, as you can see there. Operational luggage rack. And now here's the pieces from the Gangbusters set. There is a safe. There is a uh, briefcase with diamonds in it. There's a suitcase with money in it. And then there's these odd side or um, spotlights, I should say. Then you get two figures. One that's sitting, well, both are sitting down and both can be positioned to be driving the car with the one guy, of course, having the handgun to shoot at the police or whoever. I believe these are supposed to be gangsters. Now let's take a look at the actual parts. So we will move our box out of the way. Now this is where there's a bit of AMT fun and foolery in this kit. Here's the regular windshield, so you can build a fully restored car. And then they give you these with bullet holes. And they even have the spider wing underneath the glass. Spider web. Then we get our chrome pieces here. Unfortunately, the writing is through this side of the plastic. But there's our radiator, and it's got the little arms that come out to hold the headlights in place. And you get quite a lot of headlights and spotlights. There's our front windshield with the dashboard attached to it. Nice and chromed. Here's the gangster figures. And you'll also note that you get a Tommy gun and a rifle. The Tommy gun was quite famous back in the 20s and 30s. It was actually invented for World War I, but was produced just at the end, and 
actually missed the war. And then there's our seats and the stone shields. And you'll note here, this is the gangster version with the stone shields shot full of bullet holes. Then you get into the body interior panels. And unlike the Bugatti Royale, if you watch that video, these panels are actually a two-piece for the interior or for the body I should say and they would just go right in there like that and there's a hole in them for the rumble seat and the rumble seat has the pegs on the edge which is always nice and there's your folding luggage rack now getting to the body it has the opening door these were used for golf clubs storing your golf clubs through your car back in the day because that was a big selling feature on the luxury cars there's our fenders with the two wells for our spare tires and that's how the body would sit on there and then you've got that long Chrysler hood with all the loot opening side vents Oops. Ah, and there there, see, I've almost built the model already. No, <laughs> I just need to paint it a lot. And here are the safe, the suitcase. You can see the stacks of money in there. And the little briefcase for your diamonds. The car battery. The brakes. And these are the spare tire cover pieces. getting into your engine and your wheels that's a big straight eight Chrysler straight eight with a huge exhaust pipe going all the way to the back whoops then we have our drive shaft and rear axle and front axles there's that steering gear the cross brace from the radiator goes under the hood. And in this particular kit, AMT put the frame on a piece of cardboard, which kept it nice and straight in the box. I have an earlier edition of this kit, and the frame was warped beyond belief. So I'm glad that they finally supported it under there. And last but not least, the tires. These ones have the white wall insert. This is just a piece of white plastic that they give you with the kit. And apart from that, that is the end of the box. Thank you very much for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed your view of the 1932 Chrysler Roadster from AMT Ertl. And if you want to continue watching the series and have missed a few, don't forget to check out the videos here, here, and here. And also make sure you subscribe right here and like us, because then we can make more videos like this. And until next time, keep your tires on the road. Have a good one.